Hi Music of the Future, we're Tom and Josh from Venus de Milo. Um, we've had a few questions sent in from you, so here are the best answers that we can give. What is the meaning behind the new EP? So we haven't got like an overarching meaning for the whole EP this time like we did for our first EP, but every song on it um, is extremely deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the, the title track, Northern Lights, which isn't out yet, but spoiler alert, that's what it's going to be, um, is, uh, I mean, for once of a less embarrassing term, is a love song. Um, and it's about seeing like huge potential in somebody. And then um, Penniless is, does what it says on the tin, really. It's about being skint. It's about being really skint, but still going to what you want to achieve. Yeah. Um, and I won't bore you with the rest of them. I'm sure that, you know, there'll be somewhere that you guys can find out if you really want to dive in and find out the individual meaning of each song. But yeah, it's most I of think, it. I think the titles speak for themselves a bit, really, as well. Yeah. And deja Vu. We said for a little while that we're, because we all used to be into emo music when we were younger, um, but a lot of emo music had like <coughs> a pretty down in, the, down in the dumps message, whereas I think we've got a fairly positive one to offer, which is basically just give it a good go, see what happens. That's it, like we're describing our Spotify bio. For me, no kids with a positive message. There we go. That's what we are. What was the recording process like? Josh Adams. Vigorous. Intense. <laughs> really, you know, it was a sweaty, sweaty event. You know how Pep Guardiola trains his players at Man City? Yeah. It was nothing like that, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, like, we're talking, you know, long, hard hours where... You know, getting whipped, making sure we got you know the exact best take we could. Um, well, um, Alex Quinn, our producer, uh, he, he for some reason he used to make us do press ups before yeah. doing a take. That's it, yeah. And if you get one wrong, it's like twenty press ups. Yeah. And then you have to try it again, and then if it goes up to thirty, if you get it wrong again, and it's you know That's he used to be my friend, but you know now yeah, I see yeah. him more of as like a, a very intense father figure. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's a great guy. I'm only joking. Um, but brutal. But brutal, brutal, but really nice guy. Good just, results. Just, yeah, just, yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, don't piss him off. Yeah. Um, no, the recording process, in terms of what we actually do, is it's very <clears throat> bit party, isn't it? Like, we'll do a yeah. little bit. In fact, we do a little bit here. We do, like, yeah. movies and... We do a lot, of, lot separately as well, don't we? Like, you know, we, we're not always in the studio together at once. Like, you know, there's times where... I'll come in with you, for example, and mm -hmm. Jake and Ryan won't be there, um, yeah. or you alone, or you know, all of us together. It's it's there's it, it, a lot of different scenarios. Yeah. Um, all of them are equally as productive and fun. Yeah, Actually, no, they're true. not. Sometimes, if we do it in here, we end up just playing a lot of FIFA. Especially if it's me and Tom, because we usually chat about shit and then yeah, play FIFA and then nothing like yeah, yeah. It's a good example of it. Yeah. Really. Um, <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah. What was the writing process like? Oh, much the same, really. Um, yeah. No, it's, it's, the writing process is a little bit more streamlined because it, what we'll find usually is that it we'll have a demo to begin with and then we will build on top of the demo in band practices yeah. where we so we'll have like, this is the uh, chords and lyrics, for example, and then... Mm -hmm. We'll People, fill in the detail after. Yeah, there might be a few ideas that pop up in practice that we, you know, sound good, and then you know, that ends up being part of the final track. But, mm -hmm. You know, it's all. I mean, it's mate. You you normally got the backbone to it, haven't you? Yeah. And then you bring it to the guys, and then you know, usually we end up agreeing on a lot, don't we? Everyone's got pretty similar yeah. music taste. Who did you work with on the single? On Penniless, we worked with Alex Quinn yeah. at Parr Street, uh, who's someone we work with a lot. Um, and, yeah, he's the guy that basically... Put it all together, isn't he? He's like the uh, the mastermind, or the glues yeah. it all together. It's one of those tracks that we've actually been working on for a really long time, but it would, we were thinking it was going to be on the first EP, but we just <clears> for some, we couldn't get it right. 
we yeah. couldn't work out why it wasn't right. I think it's changed around quite a bit as well, like structurally. Yeah, well, that was due to suggestions that Alex made. I think was to kind of go through with a like with a really brutal eye and go, mm. does this bit need to be there? And if the answer isn't yeah. definitely yes, then get rid of it. Cut to the chase, kind of. Thing. Well, that's, so that's, that's kind of what he, he does. To... Yeah, yeah. So he's he's kind of made it from like a five minute track into like a nice three minute track, isn't he? Yeah, I think it's three forty nine. Three forty nine. Exactly. Okay. But like that's a nice kind of length, yeah. I think. But yeah, so we worked with Alex on it, and um, he worked on most of the EP with us. I think apart from one track. Um, so yeah, he's he's the go to guy. Mm. That's that's all we got for you. Thank you, Music of the Future, for having us. And uh, yep, yeah, we'll be playing. E- EBGB's on 13th of March. Come down, have a beer, listen to some good music. Um, we've also got the rest of the EP. All of it will have dropped by the 10th of April with various different singles along the way, so if you get a chance to check it out, that'd be amazing. Um, until then. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.